Since opening 902 Brewing Company in Jersey City, there hasn't been any shortage of obstacles for co-owners Colby Janish and Don Voigt. For starters, they opened up in March of 2020. We all know what happened next. The shutdowns and then implementing the weekly rules when they changed the capacity limits, um, what our staff had to check, if we had to check temperatures. And now they're dealing with new rules for breweries statewide, issued by New Jersey's Division of Alcoholic Beverage Control that went into effect July 1st. Among the restrictions that bring new conditions to brewery licenses include an annual cap of 25 on-site events, Walking or virtual tours of their facility to patrons before they consume alcohol now required, and they're prohibited from serving food or working with food trucks. It seems like a bizarre overreach and a very bizarre, senseless regulation. The small business owners now pushing back, joined by elected officials Friday, where they are calling on Governor Murphy to take action and put a stop to the new rules they say are unfair. Is this the time? for us to create these artificial barriers. But according to the ABC, the rules are simply there to increase stability in the alcoholic beverage marketplace and to foster realistic competition that ultimately will benefit all residents of the state. Don't create unnecessary restrictions. Allow for free, fair and open competition. Now, this isn't the first time the Division of Alcoholic Beverage Control attempted to implement rules for the breweries in the state. It happened back in 2018. But the backlash was so severe, it was all put on hold. Back then, Governor Murphy sided with the breweries. This time around, he has yet to reveal his stance. A spokesperson for the governor's office declined our request for comment, but that isn't stopping lawmakers across the state from moving forward with legislation they plan to introduce in the coming weeks that will loosen up the new rules. Every day that this isn't um, stopped, you're taking thousands upon thousands of thousands of dollars out of our local economy. In Jersey City, I'm Andrew Ramos, PIX11 News.